discuss this important topic. We are so grateful for it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So well, let's get right into this. So a heart attack and cardiac arrest, very serious conditions. Can you tell us what happens to your body during a heart attack? Yeah, so there are actually two different conditions. Cardiac arrest is where the heart stops, is a malfunction of the electrical system. And heart attack is where there's a circulation problem and the heart doesn't get blood flow. And obviously a heart attack or circulation problem can lead to a cardiac arrest. So as soon as that happens, you have a rhythm problem where the heart goes into an abnormal rhythm and your blood pressure drops mm -hmm. and you stop getting blood flow to the rest of the body. Got it. So also, you know, sometimes an anxiety attack or a panic attack, uh, they can be confused as a heart attack. How do you differentiate between those? Yeah, I think it's, it's one is obviously the demographic of the patient who's having those symptoms. I think uh, if you have a question, whether it's a panic attack or a heart attack, the better part of valor is to actually get attention and come into the emergency room or call 911. It's okay to cry wolf. And I think we're we're right there to help and kind of guide you through that process. But clearly, if you're having shortness of breath and if you're if you're sweating and your heart is racing and you're not able to kind of talk to people because you're having a panic attack, it could certainly be a heart attack as well. But get attention and let the experts figure it out. That is great advice, doctor. Now, typically there is a delay in medical attention, unfortunately, but for people like Buffalo Bills player DeMar Hamlin, there's help instantly, right? So can you tell us how much seconds do matter when it comes to these things? Oh, it's absolutely critical. I think first recognizing if a patient collapses and their, their heart is actually stopped is the first part hmm. that has to happen immediately. And then CPR or getting medical attention or even bystander CPR is gonna be critical to establish some blood flow to the vital organs of the body. So it's uh, every second there matters. Definitely, and um, can you tell us too, what are some uh, self-care things, right, we can do to lower the risk of a heart attack? Yeah, I think one is to know your numbers. I mean, mm -hmm. know whether you have a family risk or a genetic risk for heart disease. So if you have a, a first degree relative, um, uh, you know, male less than 55 or a female less than 65, We've had heart disease, your risk is high. Know your cholesterol, know your blood pressure, you know, know your, um, know your uh, weight, and also know what we call the coronary calcium score, which is a screening test that can tell you if you have plaque. Once you get that awareness of where you are in terms of risk, mm -hmm. then all you do is exercise, eat healthy, don't right. smoke, and control those risk factors. And it's crazy that we, I mean, you have to think about these things as you're younger too. Younger people are having to think about these things. Absolutely, I think with with the advent of increased diabetes and you know and um, and that epidemic that's going on mm -hmm. in society, or now with obviously also um, uh, a family uh, smoking that's quite still quite prevalent, blood pressure that's not well controlled. It's very important for us to kind of be aware of the symptoms of heart disease or heart attacks, and also know your risk and and control them. I just want to say a couple of words about CPR really quick. I yes. think this, if anything we learn from this is that even individuals without medical background should get basic CPR. And, and uh, the importance of getting bystander CPR for people who collapse, say, in a parking lot or in a movie theater or in a mall is going to be the difference between life and death. Mm, critically important. Doctor, thank you so much for making time to talk with us. We really, really appreciate it. And remember, you can watch all of our health interviews right now on CBSColorado.com. Karen.